Late Night Health continues. I'm Mark Allen, along with the insane Daryl Wayne. Uh, we are here at LateNightHealth.com and radio stations throughout the country um, and all kinds of Internet places. Go to LateNightHealth.com. You'll see where we are. Uh, from YouTube to uh, iHeartRadio, you can find Late Night Health. Uh, our guest is David Young. Uh, he's written a book called The True Story of Jesus and His Wife, Mary Magdalena. And we're talking about art and spirituality and meditation and health. A little off topic, but maybe not so much. Uh, David, do you think that most people are afraid to some certain extent of death and that your story, your art, and your music helps them accept death as part of life. Well, I think if most people are afraid of death up until they have an experience that's called an NDE. That's called a near-death experience. Because once you have that experience and you realize that your physical body in this physical dimension is something that you use, but your essence your true self is not that physical body. Your true self is your soul, and your soul exists in heaven. Okay? And so when you have a near-death experience, and honestly, over 20 million Americans have had a near-death experience that they documented with their nurse or doctor at a hospital, so it's in 20 million medical records. Okay, um, When you have that experience, it changes the way you look at death because you realize that what we call death is it's a transition, it's a transformation. Our physical body is made out of cells and atoms and molecules, right? Right. So our our soul body is made out of light. That's why when you you know when you see a ghost or a spirit in your house, it's made out of light. Have you yourself but, had a near death experience? Well, I haven't had like one of those big ones like you know where the person is in a coma they're like completely you're, flo- you're floating above the body you're seeing yourself right. yeah yeah I mean I've had I've had spiritual experiences where in meditation I've seen my myself outside my physical body looking at my physical body I've seen the same kind of image like if you wake up in the middle of the night and you're outside your physical body you can see See, you can look down on your body while it's sleeping. Um, and I've had many, what, what is called lucid dreaming is when you're having a dream and you realize that your physical body is asleep in your house and you are separated from your physical body. I haven't had that since I was four and a half or five years old. Seriously. Because I, I, well, I, I clearly I remember that. To you. Uh, about about that whole thing because each time when we go to sleep at night whether we remember our dreams or not we are dreaming and we're dreaming in a place that's also called heaven interesting so I'm I'm one know. of those guys who don't remember dreams Daryl do you remember your dreams very rarely yeah very rarely I just well, I, I don't know why I'd like happens, to what happens in the dream state is that our dreams are so real in that other dimension that we think that those dreams are happening in the physical world that's why if you have a dream that you don't like you wake up and you say oh thank god that was just a dream okay got it but once in a while while we're dreaming and dreamland is the same thing as heaven that's why when you lose somebody who you love usually in the first two or three days they appear to you in a dream because it's in that other dimension Interesting. Once in a while, something happens while our soul is in dreamland that triggers our soul to know and recognize that we're separated from our physical body, which is down on earth in our bed, sleeping at home. And when our soul realizes it's separate from our physical body, the natural thing that our soul does is to fly. And that's why we have these flying dreams. Which I used to have as a kid. Now, we only have a moment or two left. And when you started this, how did your family re- react to you You saying, hey, I'm, uh, I'm going to be channeling and I'm going to be teaching meditation? 
Well, I got into meditation when I was 22 years old, and my family at first was concerned, you know, because back in the 80s... You, they thought new, it might be a little woo-woo. Yeah, right, for sure. But they saw that it had a positive effect on me. You know, I didn't play heavy metal music in my house really loud after I got spirituality, <laughs> which I'm sure they liked a lot. You have to so do I that really, now because you're a little bit older so you can hear it. Yeah, right. <laughs> that, that's true. But they've just seen this whole thing evolve. Um, like at this point, over 7,000 people who have come to my event have shared that they had a conversation of spiritual travel with Jesus, Buddha, Moses, Krishna, Mother Mary, Archangel Michael. Um, well, you're going to have an event in February. We'll try to talk about that uh, here on Late Night Health. And uh, I'll try to uh, attend. Uh, David, a pleasure to speak to you. David Young, the author of The True Story of Jesus and His Wife, Mary Magdalena. Uh, you can uh, find out more information, I'm sure, at Amazon.com. But if you go to LateNightHealth.com, we'll have a link to uh, David's website and more information. David, again, thank you. We'll talk again soon. Hey, coming up next, we're going to talk with Dr. Juan Riviera. He's a cardiologist, and he's written a book called The Mojito Diet. So um, uh, raise your glasses to uh, losing weight with a little bit of booze. We'll find out more about that as Late Night Health continues. Don't go away. <laughs> 